Hello and welcome to another episode of Biz Talks. Today we're chatting to Janine Lingenfolder, if I can get that correct for a change. Um, we're going to be finding out more about her and where she's from and her business and um, really just, just explore and find out more about her and her journey. Hi, Janine, how are you? Hi, Chris. I'm very, very well, thanks. And how are you? Very good, very good. I'm excited for us to chat and find out more and learn about you. So, so uh, just a little bit of background, where are you from? Where were you born? So I am from Johannesburg in Gauteng and am born in the West Rand and I stay in the South Coast to Alberton. Oh, okay. Jo- Johannesburg, sometimes known as Mordor by some people, but it is still a good city to be in. Uh, okay, so uh, born and bred in Johannesburg. Where did you go to school? Um, over the two years or two sections, primary and high school? So I come from a very small Dorpi called Western Area and that's in the far, far West Rand and um, there was only one high school and one primary school. So um, that was quite a quite an interesting time of my life, but I'm glad I went through it indeed. And at school, you know, were you more academic, sporty? Uh, what were your sort of extramural, extramural activities? A nice balance of both, but definitely um, focused on netball a lot and um, athletics, definitely. But um, netball took me took me quite far in life, so yeah, I, I really miss that quite a bit. But um, sporty indeed. Okay, and obviously finishing school, small town, want to get out, want to get into the world. Where did you study? Where did you go to after after school? So, you know, life happens and wasn't um, privileged enough to go to university. So I left, um, I've been working since I was 12, helping my mom with Tupperware, selling it through garages. And then from there it was honey. And from that it was helping out at um, being a waiter at the bowling club. And from there on, I moved to Rivonia and I've got a lot of PA secretarial um, experience behind me. And then I moved into the sales environment and I've got um, 16 years of sales experience in my life. It sounds like you definitely do. If you started at the age of 12 um, selling and making things happen, why not? It's a good a good place and time to start. And I'm sure now looking back on business, having started at such a young age, that's really helped you um, have the skills to start your own business and, and have your own business. Definitely. I mean, as a young child, you don't really realize what the impact is of having surra- have yourself surrounded by adults. And being an adult today, I'm actually still in contact with those uncles and aunts that I was helping out setting Tupperware through the garage. And um, through that, I realized it's very important to not burn your bridges. You never know um, when you might need that person in your life again. Yeah, exactly. And you can learn a lot from the people you surround yourself with, even from a young age. So you, you, you've been working and you've gone into the, the sales side after your um, experience in the secretarial side of things. How did it come about that you started your own business? So Jelani Sales was actually a sideline business in 2019 and I realized that there was a gap in the market when it comes to the follow-ups of certain things around the sales and marketing process of life. And in 2020, the business did very well. And I realized, okay, but why am I still working for a boss? If this is working well during 2020, then what's stopping me? So I left the corporate world this year in March and I am now the full owner of Jelani Sales. And it was an exciting journey to be here, but um, I'm, I'm so excited to see what's what's still coming. Okay, great. And, and the name Jelani Sales, obviously it's got to be a bit of a play on with your name, but where does Jelani Sales come from? So the word Jelani itself means strong, and I believe that you have to be a strong person to be in sales. And the word, um, if you split the word J-E, it's for my daughter, Jessica. And then the L-A-N-I stands for caring. And once again, with sales, you have to care about your clients to really show the benefit for being part of your client base. So that is Jelani Sales in a nutshell. 
Okay, great. Now, now I'm getting a little bit confused here and you're going to have to help me out. I'm seeing and I'm hearing sales and Jelani sales, but you know, it's your virtual sales office. So there's a virtual element it, in a very small, concise way. How would you describe what Jelani sales does? So Jelani sales helps business owners to focus on the core activities of their business. You don't, as a business owner, really want to run around on following up on proposals that were sent or do cold calling for that matter. So Jelani Sales takes that off your plate and we focus on those things, helping you with lead generating, we're helping you with email marketing if that is something that you want to do. So there's really a lot that we can take away from you so that you can have the time to really, really focus on your business rather than in it. So what I'm hearing is, is, is what you can provide is adding to their capacity by taking away the tasks that eat their time up and that they're not necessarily very good at or want to do. Um, and also then they don't have to employ a department of people or a whole lot of people. They can contract you to do that work for them. Exactly. And because we work on an hourly basis, we charge exactly the hour that we spend on your specific core activities that you outsource to us. So it is really, it's not just a time saver factor, but it's also a money saving factor as well. Yeah, well, I think, I think a lot of people, especially um, businesses, you know, they forget that the time that you have with your business is a commodity. It's a very, very valuable commodity. So if I spend an hour following up on all the proposals that I've sent, and it's really taken me a whole lot of time to put it up and the initial meetings and all of that, you know, my hourly rate is, as the business owner for doing those follow-ups for an hour is, is worth a lot of money. So you're freeing up that time essentially. Exactly. Exactly, spot on. And you can focus then on your core business and growing your business instead of doing, the, there's the rule, the 80-20 rule. Um, you get to spend more time working on your business, not in your business. Exactly, it's um, Jelani Sales is really here to take the chaos out of your day so that you can really, really have a smooth, productive um, business that you run. And how does the process work? Okay, so I'm sitting here getting to know your business and getting to know you, how would, how would we go through the process to find out what my needs are and going through to finding the correct solutions for me? So it really is what your goals are for your business. I work a lot with what your goals are because then it's in line with your values and your mission and your vision. So it depends on what your needs are. If for instance, you want social media management, we will have to do a discovery call to see where you're currently at, what platforms you are currently using, and what is your what is your goal for using social media? Is it just for brand awareness? Is it for actually generating leads? So there's, there's a lot to do when it comes to, oh, Jelani, we want your services. Okay, great, but let's do a discovery call so that I can make sure that I can actually really add value and give you benefits for coming to me firstly. So um, there's, there's a 20 minute discovery call that I do with all of my clients to just really see and understand what they want and with the services and products I, I provide, if that can work hand in hand. Okay, great. Yeah, I mean, that's the other important one. If we're going to get you on board, the, you've been doing it for quite a while now. So you obviously got processes and systems in place to find that information out very quickly um, that, I, that, that you know somebody doesn't have to spend hours on the phone with you or in meetings. Um, to do that discovery. You've got it all set up and it's a quick, smooth um, setup. Exactly that. And I believe in transparency with all my clients and throughout my life personally and with business. So if I'm not sure of anything, I, I'd rather ask 10 times to make sure that I'm doing the job correctly than doing it incorrectly and burn bridges and the client never renews. So transparency is one of the key things that really helps me and help the growth of my business um, where it is at the moment. Okay, and let's talk a little bit about your product range and your service offerings. Uh, we've mentioned social media um, as well as some cold calling. Uh, can you run us through some of the products that you do offer in your, your range? So we also do database cleanup. Um, database cleanup is very popular now. The reason for that is of the Poppy Act that um, came in in July. So we actually go and we clean up your database 
and make sure that the database you've got is copy compliant. So what that means is a lot of people will have, sit with databases that they're not touching because they are more focused on the active client who's got contracts. But in, in actual fact, those databases that's lying around is gold. It's really, really gold. So if we can come through and clean it up for you and it's a, it's a healthy database, then it's also helping out the business owners to convert those potential leads to actual business. And um, once, your, once your database is clean and healthy, the conversion rate is just so, so much better. So that's the, the one thing is the database cleanup. Then we also do um, administration management. Now listen, there's a list that is extremely long when it comes to administration management because it is literally anything to do with admin. Whether it is that you just don't have, you know how to do a presentation, but you just don't have the time to put it all together. So what will happen in a typical um, example is someone will send me all the information, their logo, their wording, their whatever they want in the message that they want in the presentation. We will put it all together and you look professional in front of your client and your client thinks that you're amazing and you can easily just change, change that lead to an actual business transaction. Um, thank you notes that you want to send out to your clients. I think um, recognition is very, very important for business owners to their clients to really give them recognition for being a client. And it's those small things that I think today means a lot um, for businesses, especially SME, to have that really, really good relationship with their clients. And not just the client that pays the bills, but really have that long-term relationship with their clients. So that's the um, social media that we touched on, the cold calling, the database cleanup and administration. We also do websites. We also do um, virtual business cards, which is really popular right now. Um, so you can have your virtual business card right on your phone, send it through to every single contact person on your phone. And they can on that actual um, virtual business card, click on your Facebook logo and it takes them straight to their Facebook, whether it's LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, whatever it is, there's, a, there's an active virtual business card that you can send and it's absolutely valuable. So that is some of the services that Janani is offering at the moment. Okay, well, also I think what I heard in between that is, is sure, you might have clients come to you with a specific need. Um, in their mind, it might be uh, database cleanup and Poppy Act compliance. But while you're working with them, you're not just going to do the job and do what they need, you know, what they ask you to do, but you'll build a re relationship with them and work with them and, and make really good suggestions like, well, when last did you send thank you cards out? When last did you look at X, Y, or Z? So it's that extra value offering that you put in there by building a relationship. Absolutely. Look, Chris, there's so many VAs in this world and it's not a new thing in South Africa, actually. So being a virtual office is you have to stand out. You have to be different. And I think by, by adding that benefit of I'm not just doing the work, I'm actually adding extra benefits for using Jelani Sales as part of your sales and marketing strategy. I think that helps with the growth of the business itself as well. Okay, great. So you also mentioned something that I know is in the pipeline and very exciting is, is there are a lot of virtual assistants and, and not all virtual assistants are the same. They each offer their, their own unique thing, but you're, you're busy working on a really cool project by bringing them all together to work together. Yes, I'm really, really excited about this. So being a virtual assistant myself and um, done some courses around v virtual assistant and the VA world, I realized that um, there's no community for all VAs to get together, share um, ideas, share their expertise, share what they struggle with, and um, just know that there's one space that they can feel valued, they can feel that there's benefits from it, and they f there's no judgment. And so, yes, I am, am opening up a network for virtual assistants all over the world, and it is called Explore Van, V-A-N. So in the long sentence of it all is Explore Virtual Assistant Network. I'm really, really excited about this and the launch. We're pushing for the 15th of September this year. So hopefully everything will happen smoothly so that we can all have that um, virtual assistant community going. 
And that's great because collaborative efforts are far more important these days than doing competition. You know, why not band together, work together, help each other, be it with advice. Um, you know, you might have overflow work on a specific area or anything like that. There, there, there really is value in collaborating like that. Oh, absolutely. Um, there's, and especially in the last two, three months, um, the word collaboration is is top of my list because if if I can learn and you can learn, we're definitely growing together, and not just personally but businesses as well. And that to me is is most impo- most important because empowering someone else, money can't buy that. No, definitely not. So if you're a virtual assistant and you're watching this and saying, "Man, this is my competitor." Da-da-da. Maybe change your thinking. Maybe contact um, Janine. There will be links uh, with this video. And get in contact and see how you can be a part of a network of virtual assistants working for them, work, helping each other out, collaborating and building together and growing together. Be a part of that exactly. collaborative effort. And Janine, you also keep referring to us and we and things. And something I actually saw on your social media is, is that um, you guys are in a position where time zones don't really matter, that you're able to provide the service needed 24-7. How is that possible? <laughs> you know what? It's, it's really a privilege to be part of the virtual assistant world because of that, what you just mentioned. Having clients all over the world, it, it's so amazing because you learn different um, ways of doing business. You, you're getting so much value and tips from working with various people all over the world, um, whether it is from um, Australia or New Zealand or Cape Town, or um, it doesn't matter. So the nice part is that I can wake up at three o'clock in the morning here in South Africa to help someone overseas. It's all about time management and your goals and your plan. If you've got all those things in place, you are able to say, I can work 24 seven. And that's something important to, to mention as well is, is you're not just offering services to companies in South Africa. You've got ex- you experience with working companies, with companies all over the world. Um, I think that's also something important to, to mention is, is it's not just the African companies that you can work with, but an international audience as well, if I'm correct. Absolutely. I've got a client um, that's in Scotland and I'm running her social media for her. Um, didn't in my wildest dreams, even that didn't even ma- happen in my mind. But because of collaboration and the word of mouth process that's t- happening in the world, that took place. So it is really, really awesome to know that anytime, anywhere, any place. <laughs> it's the digital world we live in, eh? There's so many op- options and possibilities to be able to to be there at all times and and, and really provide that um, extra special service. And you know, what, you know what I find incredibly exciting is the trend that's happening at the moment is a lot of international companies are beginning to realize the value in hiring South Africans to do the work. We have really good reputations for working hard, finding a way to make things happen. And no matter what happens, no matter what goes on, we still come through, we still do it, we still do it with a smile, and we still come through at the end of the day. Exactly. You know, it's you got to stay up. You got to, every time you fall, you have to get up. You know, success, there's no elevator to success. It's step by step. And it doesn't matter which um, business you're in or what service or products you do. If you just take one step forward, even if you take two steps backwards, you're doing the cha-cha, dance, <laughs> smile. You know, um, you have to have to just focus on where you are now, where you, what you managed to accomplish in, in your business itself. So yeah, cha-cha along, doesn't matter. I like that. Instead of just keep on swimming, just keep cha cha I don't know if that's the correct <laughs> terminology, but anyway, you get the point. Um, and of course, with, with, with that kind of mindset and work, it means that you've put things in place and systems and those processes, once again, in your business, that no matter what happens, all the planning's there, the strategies there, the systems are there, everything's in place to make sure that things roll out and to the high quality and standard that you live by. 
Absolutely. And if I may, Chris, um, just to give some tips um, for for other virtual assistants or other entrepreneurs that's listening, um, you know, find a network, uh, find a place that that that's within your values and a place that you feel comfortable with in your own community. There, there's really so many network opportunities for you to to grow because you never know who's in the room. You never know who knows who. And I can promise you that today it's not about what you know, but it's really about who you know. That can open so many doors. And if there's not a door, just build something. You've got the mind. So use your fire that is within you. I always say that you've got the sky above you, the earth below you, and the fire within you. So work with the flame. Oh, that's brilliant. And also, there's always the saying, if you want something, you've got to ask for it. But if you've got no contact with other people or a network that you can go and ask, well, it's going to be a very difficult conversation with yourself saying, uh, okay, well, Chris, I need some help. Chris, can you help me out, Chris? And you know, it's better to have a network to go to. Absolutely. They open up so many doors and um, they also help you with your business in the sense of guidance. You know, have you tried this? Have you tried that? Because you're so focused running your business, you don't always throw the box away. You don't always think outside the box because you just don't have the time. So yes, definitely find a network, spend your time with people that that is within your values and that is positive for your energy. Don't don't surround yourself with negative people. Surround yourself with people that that motivates you and constantly, um, let's say, keep you keep you accountable for what you say you will be doing. So fantastic, Janine. You know, if we need to get a hold of you, virtual assistant who wants to get a part of your network, or a potential client, or somebody who just wants to find out more, where, where, and how can we contact you? Thanks so much for that, Chris. So they can get hold of me on my Facebook page, which is Jelani Sales. They can get hold of me on my email address, which is H E L L O. So it's hello at jelanisales.com. And they can also find me on Instagram and LinkedIn. LinkedIn is my name, Janine Lingenfelder. And then, of course, um, they can also contact me on my cell, 082-820-4954. I'd love to hear from you and connect. Fantastic. And if you're listening from overseas, replace the zero with a plus two seven, and that's the South African dialing code. But good news is, is wherever you see this video, all the relevant relevant links will be included with it. So you can just click, make contact with, um, <laughs> I'm good. Janine, I wanted to say get in contact with Jelani, but no, it's Janine. Um, you see the branding works, it sticks in your mind. Um, but get in contact with Janine and um, she will be happy to have a conversation with you and see where she can help you and assist you and grow your business and take away those tasks that eat your time. I think that's a really nice way to sum it up. Fantastic. And it's really awesome to be here today. Um, Chris, thanks once again for the opportunity. Fantastic. Have a wonderful day and hopefully we'll get to chat again soon. Awesome. Same to you. Cheers.